We're in Cisco ASA version 9. I'm going to show you how to check for interface errors. Uh, interface errors can slow down your communication or stop it altogether if you don't watch the, for these types of events that happen. So what we want to do is go ahead and show the interface information for our Ethernet 00 and Ethernet 01. So we can do a show interface and we can type out Ethernet 0 slash 0. We can also, there's also a shortcut for this as well. So we can do show int e0 slash 0. And you can do that with all the uh, different interface numbers that you have. Shows the same information. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. We see that our Ethernet 00 is down, line protocol is down. So that usually means that the cable is unplugged. And we need to plug that back in order to bring that back up. We can also take a look at some of these other individual things that uh, show information about communication with the port. So some of the things you want to look for is input errors and CRC errors. Those are the, the two most common errors that you'll have if your speed and duplex don't match the switch or router you're plugged into. Uh, there's also uh, other types of errors such as the L2 decode drops and switch ingress policy drops. Uh, that could be related to speed and it could be related to a bad port either on the firewall or on the switch that you're plugged into. Output errors and collisions uh, are usually caused by other devices besides this one such as a, a computer that maybe has a rogue network card on it. Uh, it also could be the same with resets. Resets are typically going to be the switch you're plugged into. Uh, it could be that your crossover isn't set correctly so the switch isn't crossing over properly uh, or that the switch is having some sort of issues. Uh, collisions will also happen when you have a bad network card on the uh, the network, maybe a card that has or the, a computer that has a lot of viruses on it or po possibly uh, you have the same IP address as another computer that's out on the network. So uh, some of these other ones, the rate limit drops and egress policy drops, those are a lot less common and you, you'll probably need to look up the different support issues for that one if you do see those. So if you see zero all the way across and that your port is up up, then you know that everything is working as it should.